Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we are gonna be trying some exciting products, in my opinion, products that were sold out for the longest time, I felt like, um, at the Ulta near my house and sold out online as well that I finally got my hands on um, a couple weeks ago and those are some eyebrow products from NYX. I've got the brow glue that has gone viral on TikTok and also the Lift and Snatch brow tint pen to try out today. Like I mentioned, these products went viral on TikTok and were sold out everywhere. So I'm super excited to be able to try them out with you guys. So stick around for the demo portion and my final thoughts that's coming in just a bit. As you can tell, my eyebrows are already done. So if you are interested in knowing how I felt about these products and also how they worked and how they applied, stay tuned. So the NYX Brow Glue, this is the product on the inside. This guy right here goes for $8, so a relatively affordable price. NYX is generally a, uh, I wouldn't say drugstore, it's a bit more than drugstore pricing, but it is an affordable uh, makeup brand. It's on the drugstore side of, of Ulta. And then the other product that we're gonna be using today is like I said, the Lift and Snatch brow tint pen which is this guy right here and this guy actually comes in 10 shades the shade i got is the shade espresso which if i'm not mistaken is about the second to the last um, of the darkest shades or a third to the last something like that and it is a brush tip so um thank goodness for that uh, i am not a fan of felt tip pens um not that i've used it for eyebrows but i have used it in the past for eyeliners and I did not like it. And this guy here retails for $11. So just to show you guys here with the brow glue, the consistency and the spoolie. So you can see it is a pretty uh, gooey consistency and that is the spoolie on uh, the brow glue. And with the um, brow tint pen, let's go ahead and do a little swatch here so you guys can see what that shade looks like. Again, the shade I have is in Espresso. Okay, so with all the logistics out of the way, let's go ahead and roll the demo and try on portion of this video. Okay, so let's get into this. I went ahead and looked up on the NYX uh, website to kind of figure out exactly how to use the brow glue. I wasn't sure if you were supposed to um, put it on before um, and then go in and fill your brows or you could do it the, I guess the typical way you fill in your brows and then you go in with your uh, glue or your gel, your eyebrow gel per the website you can do it either way um, if you want a more laminated brow look then the website said to use your brow glue to help lift and set your brow hairs and then go in with whatever you decide to fill it in I think I'm gonna do it the kind of typical way I'm going to fill in my brows using the pen the brow tint pen and then um, go over it with the glue so we'll see how that goes so I have never tried um, one of these brow pens um, felt tip pens before I feel like they've been pretty popular uh, lately I want to say it was was it urban decay that came out with the first one or maybe or that, at least that's the first one I remember hearing um, being talked about okay so I just went ahead and brushed up my eyebrows knock on wood I have good eyebrows so they're not too thin they're not too thick um, I do have some like uh, empty spots I don't know if you guys can tell but like right here and right here I'm gonna go in and fill in as much as I can um, let me show you guys the brush tip on this brow tint so it's very fine that is the brow tip right there and the shade I got is in the shade espresso there are 10 shades of this product um, I got mine at Ulta and I don't think they carry all 10 shades there at least in store I did not see 10 shades so let's go ahead and and start off I'm like nervous <laughs> If you hear screaming and cheering in the background, uh, my husband is watching a soccer game right now. So um, yeah, please ignore. Okay, so I'm going in with really light pressure. I'm just faking some hair strokes. Now that I think about it, didn't Mac have a pen like this like years ago let me know in the comments below if you know what I'm talking about but I'm pretty sure Mac had some sort of um, like brush on eyebrow thingamajigger I 
Okay, so the the bald spot, I guess, that you would say, or the empty spot that I have right here, it looks like it's filled it in nicely. I don't know how even this is going to be. I hope my mirror is not blocking the camera so you guys can still see. And I'm going with the lightest of pressure, guys. Okay, so at first glance, uh, filled brow, not filled brow. Um, I think I can already tell uh, a difference and I do like it. Um, obviously, this brow isn't even. Um, well, it's not you know as precise as I am with my brow pencil. Um, but then again, this is my first time using this marker felt tip kind of thing, but so far so good. I guess I should have read the instructions before. It does say on here, shake pen at a downward angle um, before use. So whoops, we didn't do that, but we're doing it now. Okay, I went ahead and added a few more strokes um, and then stopped because I don't want to get carried away. Uh, but so far, I am really liking um, this product. I don't feel like it's giving me Sharpie eyebrows, which is actually what I was worried about, about it giving me Sharpie eyebrows. But so far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So I have the left eye done. It's my left, right? Yes. Um, and I feel like I was able to get more like hair-like strokes with this, especially at the front of my eyebrow. I don't know if you guys can tell, I kind of did a random one somewhere right here. So if it looks a little wonky, let's just ignore that. But honestly, I'm loving this so far. My eyebrows are filled, but it doesn't look unnatural if that makes sense i generally go for a more natural looking brow you could probably tell that if you've watched some of my videos so i try to not fill it in completely i just kind of add in where i am but i love the feel of this i would say you do need to be careful and go with a light hand um, as i was working on my left eyebrow um, i went a little harder with pressure towards the front and it did and you could definitely see a difference in how much pigment or how much liquid comes out of the pen but overall it was fine it was easy to kind of blend it in with a spoolie um this is just a spoolie off of my anastasia brow wiz um the product gave you time to work with and um the color i think for me at least um is is great it doesn't it's not leaning too warm it's not leaning too cool uh i like it so, so the next product we're gonna try is gonna be the nyx brow glue so i am a little Again, I'm a little nervous about these products just because the brows for me are kind of, well, not kind of, the brows for me are my least favorite part of my makeup routine to get done. For the longest time, I didn't even do my eyebrows. Um, I did the rest of my face and, you know, and would just not do my eyebrows because I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't feel like I knew how. Um, but with time, I feel like I've gotten better. Are my eyebrows perfect? No. Do I fill them imperfectly? No, but I, I think I've come a long way. Okay, so with this product, um, there really are no directions on here, on the box. It just says, style brow hairs and set into place. Non-sticky transparent formula with a precise spoolie for each application. That's all it says. Like I said, on the website, it said you can either apply this first to give you that laminated brow look, or you can apply it after to set your brows um, after filling it in. And so we're gonna be doing it after. So let's go ahead and open this little tube. Um, so you have the spoolie right there, and you can see the product kind of looks like lash glue to me. So let's go in and see. Let's also see if this is gonna pick up the pigment from the other product. So. Let's say a prayer, here we go. It's definitely lifting the hairs. I probably should have prefaced this with saying I don't usually go for the feathery brow look or the laminated brow look. Um, so let's see if I'm even gonna like the vibe that this product is gonna give me. So we've got one eyebrow done, the right one. Um, definitely lifting. I can feel it in my brows, like 
holding, um, not in a bad way, but I do feel it lifting and kind of, um, well, giving you that lifted brow effect, if I'm even making sense. Let's go in on the other side. And I haven't had my eyebrows trimmed or done in about a month. So they are a bit longer than what they would be usually. And my left eye, my left eyebrow always seems to cooperate so much more than my right side. So, I mean, yeah, look at that difference. Look how much better the left side looks compared to the right. Like the right just wants to give me all sorts of grief all the time. Okay, and I am going back in on the right side and I feel like I am able to layer more product on top of what was already there. So that's good. Wow. If you're wanting that soap brow laminated look, you can definitely achieve this, achieve that with this product from what I'm seeing so far. Okay, so there we have it. Laminated, but not. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below, tell me what you think of this kind of more fluffy, feathery eyebrow look on me compared to what I usually do in my other videos. Um, I, I'm not gonna say I'm loving it just because I'm not used to it, but I'm definitely not hating it. I like the way it looks. It feels like I can feel it tightening, I guess you would say. My brows don't feel sticky. They don't feel sticky at all. So, so far, so good. Okay, so I am filming this video pretty late. It's about 7.30 p.m. right now. So I don't know how long of a wear test I'm gonna be able to do uh, with the brow glue. I'm gonna keep it on as long as I possibly can and I'll leave a note either somewhere here on the screen or in the description bar about how it wore, uh, whether or not my eyebrows fell or it held up. Um, I'll probably be able to wear this for at least two, three hours. Um, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so as a first impression, Again, this is the NYX um, Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the shade Espresso and the Brow Glue uh, from NYX. Um, with it being two products that I was really nervous about trying, I was afraid my eyebrows were going to look horrendous um, or I weren't, wasn't going to like it at all. Also, it was really hard to get my hands on these. They were sold out online forever. These are some of the products, well, at least this one, that went viral on TikTok. It was sold out online. It was sold out at the Ulta by my house. I literally had to drive um, to an Ulta that's like 45 minutes away from where I live to be able to find these products. Um, when I got them, I got these, I wanna say two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Um, something like that and I'm finally getting the chance to sit down and film with them as a first impression I'm gonna say um, it's a 10 out of 10 for both specifically the um, Brow tint pen. I'm really loving this the brow gel um, if it holds up I think this is gonna be a, t a for sure 10 out of 10 something about the consistency of it is kind of making me a little worried again it, it reminds me of like lash glue and I definitely don't want that feel of lash glue in my eyebrows we'll see how it washes out as well well, that's something that I'll also leave either here um, in the video or in the description bar just to let you guys know how hard or how easy it is to get this out of my brows. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried either of these products and what your thoughts were. You can find them on the NYX website at Ulta, um, at Target as well. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for joining me for this uh, review and first impressions. Make sure to like the video before you leave. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoy watching my content and are a returning subscriber. And if you are a new viewer, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'm generally uploading once a week, usually on Tuesday or Thursday around 11 a.m. But for you to be the first one to know as soon as I upload a video, make sure you ring that bell. I hope you are having a great day or night wherever you guys are and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.